Hey everyone! The NFT space is becoming more and more popular, and many people, like you, are getting into trading NFTs, but do not know where to start. We've all been at this stage, and looking back, I think that one of the most important things that should be taught to newcomers is safety. NFT safety is essential for every beginner to learn, especially because of how frequently scams happen in the NFT space in comparison to the wider cryptocurrency space. In this series of videos, I'll give you a comprehensive guide with step-by-step -step tutorials to help you understand how to avoid NFT scams and how to keep your digital assets safe. This topic is quite big, so I'll be releasing these videos in separate parts. In this video, we're going to focus on wallet and account safety. First, we're going to look at how to keep your account secure, then how to stay safe when connecting to new sites. We'll also look at what to do if strange items appear in your wallet, as well as a few quick tips about hardware wallets. As well, we'll look at what to do if your wallet is compromised. Let's jump into it! In August 2021, a user by the name of Stacy on Twitter fell victim to a phishing scam when a bot sent a bad link in a DM to CryptoPunk holders on Discord. By clicking on a bad link, and signing a bad transaction, 16 CryptoPunks were stolen from their wallet, along with a bunch of Ethereum, amounting to nearly a million dollars in lost assets. In May of 2022, a similar thing happened to comedian and director Seth Green, who also fell victim to a phishing scam. He lost his Bored Apes, Mutant Apes, and Doodle NFT. This loss put his upcoming show in jeopardy, because he no longer owned the core piece of intellectual property of the show, Bored Ape number 8398, who was going to be the lead character. Thankfully, he was able to buy the ape back, but it was an unnecessary and avoidable loss. That same month in 2022, $1.5 million in Moonbirds were fished out of holders' wallets through a fake NFT swapping platform with a malicious contract draining the victims' wallets of all their assets. It is estimated that over a billion dollars was lost in cryptocurrency-related scams in 2021, and that number will only continue to rise. When your crypto assets are stolen, nobody can really offer much help. The best thing you can do is prevent yourself from falling victim to a scam or a hack. There are important lessons to be learned from these mistakes and I hope that you get something from this video that could prevent you from becoming the next victim. Now before we begin, let me start by saying that everything we talk about here is my opinion, and not official investment advice. Cryptocurrency and NFT investing are highly risky. All the projects mentioned here are used for demonstrative purposes only. No projects I mention in this video are a recommendation to buy into. Please do your own research before making your own decisions with your money. I also have to tell you that this is not a complete list of scams and tactics, as the NFT and crypto space is still very new and developing. Always be mindful and take your time, and if you aren't sure about something, do not transact with it. Let's start by looking at keeping your account secure. I can almost guarantee that if you aren't careful with keeping your seed phrase and passwords a secret and accidentally share them out, that someone will empty your wallet and take all your assets. Losing your seed phrase or even your password to your wallet is without a doubt the easiest way to lose all your assets. For those of you that are new to crypto, when you set up your wallet for the first time, like MetaMask, you will have been asked to write down your 12-word seed phrase. For some wallets, like hardware wallets, this seed phrase would be 24 words long. The purpose of your seed phrase is to give you access to your cryptocurrency wallet if you happen to forget your password, or if you install your wallet on a new device. It is important to keep your seed phrase and your passwords safe, because unlike a conventional bank account where you can just speak to a teller and show a few pieces of ID and get a new card for your account, with crypto wallets, the only way to prove your ownership is with your seed phrase. 
if someone gets their hands on your seed phrase, they can recover your wallet and take it as if it was their own, and you risk never getting it back. Never, in any situation, give any person or application your seed phrase or password, no matter who they claim to be or what the application is supposed to do. The way that I like to keep my seed phrase safe is to write it down on three separate pieces of paper and keep each one locked up somewhere. This could be in a vault in your house, a safety deposit box at the bank, or somewhere else that only you know about. Just don't go keeping it on a post-it note on your desk or a folded piece of paper under your doormat. You'll just lose it. Also, never store your seed phrase anywhere digitally, such as on your smartphone or laptop, and never take photos of your seed phrase. Next, let's talk about how to keep your wallet safe when connecting to new websites. You'll want to be careful when connecting your wallet to different websites, especially when using them for the first time. The scams that I mentioned at the beginning of this video were a result of users signing malicious transactions after falling victims to fake links. If you don't want to lose money, it is important to be safe when connecting to new websites. So what do we need to look out for then? Most importantly, we'll want to verify the credibility of the websites we are connecting to. For example, if you participate in a project's raffle or connect to a project's minting site, you'll want to check to make sure that those links have been officially announced on the project's Twitter account or Discord server. The best place to check would be in the official links channel in the project's Discord server. You can also ask one of the community managers or moderators in the Discord if a link you found is legitimate or not. You should never connect to a website that you randomly come across and can't verify that website's purpose or credibility. Another tip I can share is to get in the habit of routinely disconnecting your wallet from websites. There is always a risk of websites getting hacked, and if your wallet is connected to the site at the time of the hack, the hackers might get access to your wallet and steal your assets. It's very easy to reconnect your wallet to websites when you come back, so don't worry about it taking too much time when you come back later. Disconnecting your wallet is especially important if you're using a wallet that's always connected to the internet, like MetaMask. Even legitimate projects get hacked from time to time, so it is important that we reduce our risk of losing assets in the process. Here's how you can disconnect your wallet from websites. To unlink your wallet, first you'll want to open up the MetaMask browser extension. Log in with your wallet's password. Next, click on the three little dots at the top right to open the menu and select Connected Sites. From here, you can disconnect from the sites that you aren't doing transactions with at the moment. It's that simple. Next, let's talk about suspicious items showing up in your wallet randomly. Occasionally, you may find that a new NFT has been added to your wallet and appears in your OpenSea profile even though you didn't purchase it. This may happen because sometimes projects that you hold might airdrop rewards to their holders. These airdrops will always be announced publicly on the project's social media. But if they're not from a project that you hold and you don't know where they came from, these airdropped NFTs can be potentially harmful if you interact with them. Make sure to check first with the projects that you are holding to see if you should be expecting an airdrop in the first place. Unless the airdropped NFT is from a project that you know and trust, it is better not to interact with it. Here's how you can hide NFTs from showing up in your profile on OpenSea. If you do not want to risk clicking on the NFT, you can easily hide it from your OpenSea profile by clicking on the three dots underneath the NFT in your collection and selecting Hide. Now, for extra security, you might also want to consider keeping your assets safe using a hardware wallet. For long-term storage of your crypto or NFTs, and an added layer of security for your high-value digital assets, it is recommended that you get yourself a hardware wallet. 
Some hardware wallets on the market today include the Ledger Nano X or S wallets or a Trezor Model T. By using a hardware wallet, you reduce the risk of hackers approving transactions on your behalf because the mechanism to approve a transaction requires a signature from the hardware wallet itself. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you ever use a hardware wallet, it is critical that you write down your seed phrase and keep it somewhere safe. Never store your seed phrase anywhere digitally, such as on your smartphone or laptop, and never take photos of your seed phrase. Grab a pen and paper, sit down, write the seed phrase down two or three times, and lock each copy up somewhere safe. But what if the worst case scenario happens and you do get hacked? What can you do if your wallet does get hacked or you think that your seed phrase was leaked? In this case, it is important that you act quickly, because chances are the hackers will attempt to move your assets from your wallet to one of the wallets that they own very soon. But if you move quickly enough, you may be able to at least freeze or recover some of your assets. But unfortunately, there isn't any guarantee of getting it all back. The first thing to do is any of your coins and tokens to another uncompromised wallet that you own as soon as possible. Preferably a hardware wallet like the ones we just talked about. Another thing you can do is report your wallet as compromised on OpenSea. When you report your wallet as compromised, OpenSea will not allow anyone to buy, sell, or transfer NFTs to or from your wallet on their platform. Here's how you can report your wallet as compromised on OpenSea. First, log into OpenSea with the wallet you think may be hacked. Next, hover your mouse over the profile picture at the top right to open the menu and click on Settings. In the Settings menu, click on Account Support. In the Account Support menu, expand the section for Help with a Compromised Wallet. In that section, you'll find a drop-down menu to pick the reason why you want OpenSea to lock your account. It's important to know that this doesn't stop hackers from transferring your NFTs through other platforms, but it does stop them from buying or selling your assets on OpenSea. Also, keep in mind that to get your wallet unlocked after freezing it on OpenSea, you will need to get a sworn document signed at a notary to prove that the account is yours and you want it unfrozen. To wrap everything up, when it comes to keeping your wallet and accounts safe, you'll want to safeguard your seed phrase, private keys, and passwords. Be sure to always verify that the websites you are connecting to are safe and disconnect from them when you are done transacting. Do not interact with any NFT airdrops that you receive randomly and consider getting a hardware wallet for an extra layer of security for your crypto assets. If you do end up getting hacked or think your wallet may be compromised, move your assets out of that wallet as quickly as you can and mark the wallet as compromised on OpenSea. In our next video in our series on NFT scams, we'll be looking at how scammers actually use social media and the tactics they will try to pull to steal your assets. If you have any words of advice to someone new in the NFT space on how to avoid scams, or just want to share some stories of some things that you've seen in this space, why not drop a comment below and we could keep the conversation going in the meantime. Now, my question for you, what wallet do you use to store your crypto assets and NFTs, and do you like the wallet that you're using? If you like this video or learned something new today, please consider giving it a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get alerts when we upload new videos. Also, consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in our next video.